to replace uh, Brian Lara. In the air and just over the head of Angus Fraser. This hundred here just could be on the mind of uh, Clayton Lambert. He wants to. Oh, it must be struggling. Must be struggling. Yep. Awful trouble coming back for the second there. Always struggling. Andy Caddick, the fielder, one of the strongest arms in the England team. And uh, he just made it. Wow, what a relief for Clayton Lambert. Spectacular scenes if Lambert gets that. And he has. The stadium erupts. And Clayton Lambert is absolutely delighted. His maiden first class hundred. Made here at the Antigua Recreation Ground. The age of 36. Mark Ramper Cash is coming on to replace Dean Headley. Edge and uh, go. Yep, Clayton Lambert has walked. Ramper Cash's first ball of his spell has turned, bounced, and Lambert's long innings is over. He's gone for 104. And Clayton Lambert into the first ball of she spell gives a nice gentle edge through to Graham Thorpe slip. Carl Hooper comes in at number five for the West Indies. Hooper has gone over the top. Typical Hooper shot. Rolls away for four. England have shelled so many catches. Phil Tufnell this time to his left, his good side. It's coming pretty hard to him. But he got both hands to it. Yes, I'm afraid there's a real uh, end of tour look to uh, England's out cricket. <laughs> He's gone. Now that's the 27th wicket for Angus Fraser. Sarah Mitchley raising the finger. Chandapur once again, uh, crab-like across the crease. Wandering across his stumps. Just a hint of swing and trapped in front. Not much doubt about that one. None in Mitchley's mind anyway. Chandapur goes for just five. It's taken him 40 deliveries. And the West Indies now four down for 324. So Roland Holder comes out. Got it passed. And timed so well that even though Headley seemed to anticipate it, it was really timed extremely well. And four runs once it passed him. We've had a number of uh, brilliant shots so far in this West Indies innings. There haven't been many better than that. There's a pickup from Carl Hooper. Chipped over mid-wicket for four. for it again this time the outcome will be as successful even though the execution of the shot wasn't quite as good the 
bowlers in on the app now. You won't see a better off drive than that. Brilliant shot. By no means a half volley. Just playing through the line of the ball, rolling holder. And what was even better about the shot is that he kept it all along the ground. Edged and between Russell and Slope, I don't think it was a chance. Well, they say when you cut, cut hard. That's exactly what Roland Holder did here. Left the bat and went down there very quickly. Didn't carry on the full to Alex Short, but it cut through that gap between the first slip and we could keep up quite smartly. Well, Hooper's played a lot of good strokes in this innings. That's alongside any of them. That gentleman was playing at the start of this series. That's an especially good stroke from Carl Hoover, and the reason is there was a hint of movement into the bat, and he just went with it, gave it a little flick. Just drifting in a little bit. Unfortunately for Dean Headley, drifting to Carl Hooper's arc. And away it goes. Oh, yeah. Hit it so hard that the man was too wide to be able to do anything about it. That is a wonderful strike from Hooper. It brings up his 50, a most entertaining performance. Quite timed by Hooper, but uh, good enough to bring up the West Indies 400. <laughs> Terrific stroke. <laughs> now the uh, West Indies captain has come out to have a look at the situation. Cash's head, another Hooper boundary, and that brings up the 100 partnership between Holder and Hooper, and it also takes the West Indies lead to 300. Oh, that'll be four. I don't know whether Dean Headley lost it. He seemed to turn away. It was pretty well played by Holder. He swivelled round and stayed in control. Well done. He's got away. The court and bold. Just on the brink of the close of play. Indeed, it is the close of play. Surprised everybody, I think. Nice low catch in the follow-through. Roland Holder will be devastated with just one ball left in the day's cricket. He's gone. And that was it for the day, and that's the story of this impressive West Indies total.